Okay, today we're going to talk about this online programming language called Scratch. And with Scratch, as you can see here in the About, you can program your own stories and programs. And it's designed for ages 8 to 16, but anyone can use it. And it's a really good way to learn and just play and have fun coding. Once you kind of understand these concepts, you, moving to coding is pretty easy. So anyway, let, what we're going to do is a very basic storyboard and I'm going to show you what we can do with it with some characters. We're going to have some characters move around and it's pretty good to start with an idea in, in, in mind. So what we're going to do is I'm going to choose a sprite down here in the bottom right. I'm going to choose this beetle right here. And these are the basically the characters and you you can all all over here you've got all your different actions and items. You can move to him steps, turn degrees that way, left way, you can do all these different actions in step-by-step -step order. And once you see me do this and build something like this, you'll understand and be able to get started. And this video alone, you'll be able to create millions of different things, animations and programs and all kinds of things. So we've got our first character, but I'm gonna add another character here. I'm gonna add Abby, top left. And now I'm gonna, we need to talk about the separation of characters here. So when you're doing something with a character, it will do it will do some actions over here maybe move and whatever but then it is kind of separate from this character and the only way to combine them is later we'll run them together and this green button up here but right now let's let's assume we have a plan in mind we're going to have this bug start here and it's going to walk over this way it's going to say hello and she she's going to say wow scream and run away or something like that just really really basic just to get started. So the first thing we need to do is establish that he's here because if we if we start to move this guy around if I double click on this he's gonna move around and every single time I run it he's gonna start from where we were and we want him to start from where he should be and that's right here. Let's go to these events here and what we're gonna need is this when clicked and this is gonna tie these two characters together so when you use this when clicked it's talking about this flag right here. And if you don't have that, you're, you're going to set code up for one character, this one, or this one, but they won't run together. They are separate until you put these this here, and then they run together. So we are on this one character. We'll get him working first, then we'll worry about Abby later. So when I click on this, notice he's crawling. This whole thing is running right now when I double click on it. And when I run this, same thing but we want him to start over here. Take this tool right here called go to X and Y and let's double click on it and make sure it's it's here. So it happens to be at that point right now. That would be negative 153 X, negative 56 Y. So we can test that by putting him over, putting him over here and double clicking on it. And you see it pops right where we want him. So we don't want him to move yet. We want him to start here every single time because this is gonna be our animation. And also, we want him to be facing that way every time as well. Because if he rotates, he will get out of sync. And I'll show you that right now. So if we start to do this, he'll have the same problem as, as he did when he was way over there. When we start here, he will be facing down. Let's get this point in direction tool. If you click here, you get kind of this 360 clock. And we want him facing, maybe we'll have him facing down at first. And when I do this, we'll have him turn and then walk. So next we need to have him turn. When we double click this, he starts here. See, we can do this, double click, he starts here. Let's have him turn 15 degrees counterclockwise. We're gonna need 90 degrees. When we run this, he's gonna start out down and when we run it, he's gonna end up this way. Now, as you notice, the problem is this is running so fast that you can't even see it running. It's just happening, imme happening immediately. So we're going to need to slow it down. So when you click on control at the top here, you get a weight. And we're going to drag and drop this right here. And one second's a long time to wait. Let's do half a second, 0.5. And then we're going to use this a lot. So let's right click and duplicate, right click, duplicate, right click duplicate this is going to slow him down okay so let's put some delays in here so it waits a little bit and then he turns 
So when we do this, okay, now notice when we run it, he starts out of the bottom, it waits three seconds, and then he turns. He turns awfully fast though. So that's okay. We'll just let him turn quickly. We, we, won't, we could put some delays in there, but we won't need to do that. We're gonna have him start walking now. So I'm gonna delay again after he turns, and then I'm gonna get some motion, and I'm gonna have him move 10 steps. Then I'm gonna delay it again, wait 0.5 seconds, move 10 steps. Then we're going to delay it again and move 10 steps. Now we're gonna start, let's go through it again. When we click this, we're gonna to go to the position, we're gonna to point to the bottom, we're gonna wait three seconds. Let's change that to one second. That's too long, three seconds is too long. He's gonna turn 90 degrees towards Abby He's gonna move 10 steps, wait, move 10 steps, wait. Okay, let's click it again and watch it in action. Okay, so he's coming towards here, her, and we're not gonna do loops right now. We could, we could shorten this by using loops, but right now we're just gonna have him go a little bit quicker towards her. Just to, this is an intro, we don't need to do loops right now. So what if we went 30 steps, 30 steps, and 30 steps, I bet we would arrive. Let's click the green button. He starts there, he turns. And I bet you if we went 50 steps, let's double it, 60, 60, 60. Now when we run it, turn, 60, 60, 60. All right, that's where I want him. Let's have Abby, no, let's have him say hello right now. So if you come down here, you can have him say hello for two seconds. And this is a purple item, which means it's a look. That's what they call it. So let's run it again. All that stuff. The cool thing with programming is once you're done, it, you're done. You don't, Yes, it's complicated. Yes, it's tedious. But once you're done with that scene, it's over forever. Unless you want to modify it, of course. So he's come here, and I noticed that there is a sound you can play called a pop. Let's pop and scare her too. Now, I want to show you this. You can record your own sound here. I'm not going to do that right now, but you might have him, you might make a voice and say, hello. But right now we're just going to do a pop and then he's going to hold hello for two seconds. Now let's run the whole thing again. Hear the pop, see the hello. Now at the point of that hello, we need to know how long it took to get there. We're going to have her Right away, we're just gonna have her run away. So remember, we need to pull that when clicked first, and then we're gonna have her delay. We're gonna have her wait about three seconds for him to get there. I don't know for sure how long it takes him to get there. We could do the math, but right now we're gonna wait three seconds and then she's just gonna run away. That's all we'll do. We're gonna move her 55 steps. Now let's just run it. It should wait three seconds and she should move 55 steps. Okay, now what we need to do, I think is have her delay again. Wait a second. And then I'm gonna right click duplicate. That It duplicated that whole block. So let's try it again, let's run it again. Oh wait, remember we never established where she should be. So let's move her right about here where the bug bothers her and we'll come up here and do the X and Y and now it's at 104 and negative three. It knows where she was. She will start out here and you don't need to think too much. Let's run it and see what happens. So she should start out there. There, that timing, I ran, that time I ran the whole thing together and it happened about just about the right time that we wanted it to be. Let's run the whole thing together. Come, bug comes and then she runs away. All right, what we could do is have her say something. We'll do one more thing. We'll have her say, eek, after three seconds, she's gonna say something like eek. So we're going to use, we're not gonna say hello. Let's double click and say eek for two seconds and then she's gonna run away. And then I'm gonna copy this again, duplicate, 
And then by that time, we don't need this, by the way. Right click, delete. She's going to run away and we will be done with our scene. Let's run the whole thing now and see if it works. Eek. And then she ran away. There was a little bit of a delay there. She said eek and before she moved. And that's kind of a problem. Let's fix that. What we can do is that eek caused a delay. We don't want a delay. We want her to move and then say eek. Let's run the whole thing again. Now this delay was too long. Let's give it a point, point three, and a point three. She should be running away faster than that. Let's run the whole thing again. Eek. And then she ran away still too slow. We almost could have her, we could almost get rid of this right here. This delay of her saying is causing a problem. I wish she would talk and not delay, but it's, she's actually delaying while she's talking. Anyway, this is an intro. This will get you up and running. You can make all kinds of things in here, but I wanted to show you this. Now you're gonna need to get an account on here. I am coding is for you. And you can, you can save your projects that way. And you can also do all kinds of exports, which I haven't done yet, but you can export your videos to other things and share them with other people. And one more thing, if we wanted to, we could come here and let's add a beach scene and you can see that they start out on the beach, which is more likely where there would be a bug. Now wa let's watch this. Hello, eek. She's scared of the bug. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. This is Scratch. I hope this got you up and running. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. See you later.